guys. Welcome back to mini story time with me, Miss Ashley, in my story time tent. Um, they're, of course, uh, doing a little bit of light construction outside my house today. So I apologize if there's some um, outside noises that are sort of filtering into our story time today. I'll do my best to uh, talk over them, sing over them, um, but you know, quarantine problems. What are you gonna do? Let's begin with our welcome song, Hello Friends. So I think by now you probably remember all of the American Sign Language signs that we use when we sing this song, but just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little refresher. Uh, the sign for hello is like this. Put your hand up to your head and you say hello. And then the sign for friends is you're gonna take one finger friend and two finger friends and they're gonna come together and give each other a nice hug. You just wrap your fingers around each other once and twice to say friends. And then after that, we need to say, it's time to say hello. So you're gonna say, it's time, by tapping your wrist, to say, by touching your chin, hello. I think you're ready. Let's do it. On the count of three. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Why don't we begin today with a song called, How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? And I like this one because you can pretend to be shopping for all different types of animals with all different types of tails. Um, so let's get started right away. I think you'll know the first one. Oh my goodness. Look at this adorable little puppy. Everybody say hi, puppy. All right, so we're going to sing the first verse. How much is that doggy in the window? You ready? Okay. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope this doggy's for sale. Next up we have not a doggy, but a kitty. Can you say? What do they say? Let's practice. <coughs> Meow. That's right. All right, so let's sing about our sweet little kitty here that we see in the window with a fluffy tail. All right? How much is that kitty in the window? <coughs> the one with the fluffy tail. How much is that kitty in the window? <coughs> I do hope that kitty's for sale. Next up, we see a... What is it? A fishy in the window. And fishies don't say woof woof or meow. They say glug glug. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to sing it again, but with a fishy who says glug glug and a swishy tail. Okay? How much is that fishy in the window? Glug, glug. The one with the swishy tail. How much is that fishy in the window? Glug, glug. I do hope that fishy's for sale. What else do we see in this window? <laughs> it's a monkey. What do monkeys say? They say, ooh, 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 ee, ee, ee. that's right. So you're going to say, ooh, ooh, ee, ee, with the monkey. And we're also going to comment on his beautiful swingy tail. You ready? Let's do it. How much is that monkey in the window? <laughs> the one with the swingy tail. How much is that monkey in the window? <laughs> I do hope that monkey's for sale. <laughs> Last one. What do we have here? It's a oh, snake. And snakes say hiss, right? So they go hiss. So we're going to talk about the snake and we're going to hiss and we're going to um, incorporate his slithery tail. You ready? How much is that snake in the window? The one with the slithery tail. 
How much is that snake in the window? I kind of don't hope that snake is for sale. Next, I'd like to show you a little finger play called I Put My Hands Together. And we're going to use our hands to create a very special shape. Let's see if you can guess what it is as I make it. What is it? It's a heart. That's right. And that one takes a little bit of practice, but this is a fun rhyme that you can do at home as you practice. And it goes like this. I put my hands together and this is how I start. I curve my fingers right around so I can form a heart. That might take a little bit of uh, practice to get down uh, if you're smaller, but if you're older and it's easy peasy for you, what you can do is challenge yourself and maybe try and form a heart with a friend or a sibling or a parent and see if you can do that, uh, each of you with one, just one hand. And also, this is a really good one to maybe show somebody special in your life for Mother's Day. Um, your mom, your grandma, your aunt, um, a friend, anybody. Who wouldn't want a heart from you? All right, I'm ready to get out of here. Who wants to join me on a special trip to the moon? You do? Come on. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a song called Zoom, 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 I'm Going to the Moon, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom with our hands by going like this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Can you try that? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Right? We're going to go to the moon by getting in our rocket ships, but in order to get in, we have to climb up the ladder to get inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to climb up the ladder. Can you try that? Just like that. If you're holding a baby uh, who is not obviously coordinated enough to climb up a ladder, what you can do is you can crawl up their tiny little ladder arms like this. Okay? And then after that, we're going to blast off by counting backwards from five to zero. So we're going to blast off five, four, three, two, one, and then we're all going to jump up and shoot off to the moon. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Put on your spacesuit. Zip it up. Zip. Put on your helmet. I think we're ready. On the count of three. One, two, three. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, and blast off. I'd like to share with you a flannel all about shapes. And the way it works is it's very similar to the book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? And that we're going to identify different shapes and their colors and put them up on the board and ask them each individually what shape they see. Our first shape is this right here. What shape is that? Can you guess? It's round. It's a circle. And what color is our circle? It's the color red. So let's get started by asking this circle what it sees. Are you ready? Red circle, red circle, what do you see? And the circle says, I see a, what's that? Green square looking at me. So let's ask the green square. Green square, green square, what do you see? And the green square says, I see a, what's that guys? A blue rectangle looking at me. See how it's kind of like the square, but it's a little bit longer. It's like somebody took a square and then stretched it out. So let's ask the brown, uh, blue square. Blue square, blue square, what do you see? And Blue Square says, I see a ooh, white oval looking at me. And do you see the difference between the oval and the, and the circle? They're both similar. They have, they're all round, but 
the oval is stretched out a little bit. And also, what does this remind you of? An egg. So let's ask the white oval what it sees. White oval, white oval, what do you see? I see a purple, what shape is it? Diamond looking at me. Just kind of like a diamond that we make when we sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, right? And it's the color purple. Purple diamond, purple diamond, what do you see? And the purple diamond says, I see a ooh, yellow, speaking of stars, star looking at me. So we'll just put the yellow star right here. See, how many points does the star have? Let's count one, two, three, four, and five. So let's ask the yellow star. Yellow star, yellow star, what do you see? And the yellow star says, I see a pink oh, heart. Where can I put this? Right here, <laughs> looking at me. Just like that heart we made earlier. So let's ask the pink heart what shapes he sees. And we'll do a review of all the shapes already up on our board, okay? Pink heart, pink heart, what do you see? I see a yellow star a purple diamond, a white oval, a blue rectangle, a green square, and a red circle looking at me. That's what I see. Very good. I hope you enjoyed our story time today. I tried to introduce you to some shape activities like this flannel board because I think it's really important to discuss shapes with uh, small children. Um, I would encourage you if you are reading a book about shapes or reading a book about anything but you see a shape in some of the illustrations or out um, on the street in your neighborhood when you're taking a walk to identify those shapes with your children and talk about them. Um, it's really important to highlight the differences between shapes with small children because um, you can talk about, for instance, you know, how one shape is round, how many sides they have, how many points they have, what colors they are, because once they start to build that skill of telling the difference between a square and a rectangle, for instance, um, it's the same skill that they're going to have when they are differentiating between different letters of the alphabet. So in discussing shapes, you're actually getting them ready to read. So I would encourage you to keep doing that, and I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend. Happy May, and Miss Jenny's going to be here next week, or not here, sadly, I wish. Um, she'll be coming to you through Facebook and Instagram with her mini story times next week, so stay tuned. Bye.